Welcome back to Camera Designs and today we're going to um, work on decreasing the ends of the fingertips of the mitten and this is crochet mittens for adults and this is part four. If you would like to see mittens done for children please leave it in the comments below and I will do a series on that as well. So the last video we worked on this part here and then we put all these little little tabbies in here and then we just single crocheted all the way up here until it was about an inch shy from the tips of my fingers. So now we're just going to work on finishing the end of the mitten here. So I'm right at the beginning of my my row or my round here. So what I want to do is I want to single crochet in two. So one, two, and then I want to single crochet two together. So pull up a loop in this one, go into the next one, pull up a loop. So now I have three loops on my hook here and then yarn over and pull through all three. And then I want to single crochet in the next two. So okay, single crochet, okay. And now I want to do a single crochet two together again. And then two, and so I'm just repeating this around here. There we go. Okay, and then two together. And then two. And then two together. And two, one, two. Two together. Okay. One, two. And then I end with two together, a uh, single crochet two together. There we go. Okay, and then I just want to transfer my stitch marker to this here because this will be the start of my next row and I'm just going to single crochet all the way around. Keep having to unwind my yarn here and you should have four or 21 stitches now instead of 28 there we go Last one, there we go. Now, once again, I'm going to just move my stitch marker up because I'm working in a, like a spiral, so I'm not um, single, I'm not slip stitching to the first one, so I'm just working around. Now, I want to do a single crochet two together and then just a single crochet and then two together. And then one, and then two together, then one, then two together, then one, then two together, then one. And this is getting smaller, my opening here, so I can only fit a couple fingers in there when I'm holding these. So it's one, now I need two together. One, two together. 
and then one. Okay, and I'm going to move this here again. And I just want to now single crochet in each around. It's, it's pretty easy to decrease. It looks more complicated than what it is. Okay, last one here. Okay, now I'm going to move this again. Oops, I want it like that. Okay. And now I just want to single crochet two together all the way around. So two together. And I'm going to do another two together. Another two together. Another two together. Another two together. Together, and then two together. Now, what you want to do is you want to either measure whoever, if you're making them for somebody, or try them on. And see, my fingertips are covered, but if you're still hang out a little bit, you can do another row of single crochet. But since I don't have to, I will just finish this. So what you want to do is you want to cut yourself some longer yarn here and I pull it through my loop to tie it off to start with and then I will take this out. I don't need that anymore and I will just get, I know I have a yarn needle in here somewhere at the very bottom. Okay, and then I will just take my yarn here, and I probably cut it way longer than what I needed to, but that's okay. And then I will just weave through my ends here and close it up. And it just closes right up and you can go around it a few times if you're worried about it coming undone just like that and then I will take this yarn and I will weave it into my stitches here um, before cutting it off even though there is a knot tied in it, I just always, you always want to weave in ends just in case that knot comes untied, then your whole thing doesn't come unraveled. And I will weave it in a few rows down um, just so I have that extra, just in case, just in case. Okay, and that is, I'm going to slide my hand in here real fast. You can see that is the end of the mitt in there. And then next video, next week, we will. I will show you how to um, work the thumb. And that is not as hard as it seems either. So that's it for this video. And this was Crochet Mittens for Adults, Part 4. And you, we're working on the decreasing of the fingertips. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when my videos come out, just hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And YouTube will let you know. And I have a crochet video. I try to get one out every Wednesday. A left-handed crochet. I should make that clear. I am left-handed, so it is left-handed crochet on Wednesdays. And then just knitting on Sundays. So if you are a crocheter and want to learn to knit, check those videos out. And, you know, share my videos. 
um because this is a really easy pattern to learn so anybody who wants to get into making mittens hats anything like that this is a good starting point so that's it for today and thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye